scammed out of roughly one million dollars. This happened to someone in Kerr County in a scheme that lasted nearly a year. And that is just one example of an increasing number of attempts to rip people off. Max Massey talks with a member of the U.S. Secret Service Task Force who shares what investigators have been seeing and what you and I should watch out for. Probably in the last year, we've we've seen maybe about $2 million in losses from our citizens just here in Kerr County. Lucas Flores is the digital forensic investigator for the Kerr County Sheriff's Department, and he's a member of the Secret Service Task Force. Uh, we had a, a particular case not too long ago where uh, a victim was uh, victimized over a year and lost approximately a million dollars in the process. He tells me his team, well, they're seeing a troubling increase in scams, and these are just the ones being reported. That's a huge increase from, uh, you know, the past. The scary part of it is, is that that's just a small portion of uh, what's actually out there. These are just the people that are actually coming to us. What happens a lot of times is that, especially with the elderly, is that they get uh, scammed and, and, and then they, they realize it and they get embarrassed by it and they don't say anything. And these malicious acts, they're not just concentrated on one particular platform. Fraudulent investment schemes. So a lot of times on different social media platforms like Instagram and, and Facebook, uh, you'll see a link that says get rich now. They want access to your data and they want to convince you that your computer is infected and it's going to cost you a lot of money to fix it. Romance scams is another thing that we see uh, quite a bit. And whether it's a pop up, an email or even a text on your phone, it is so important to be cautious, be suspicious, go through these preventative measures because realistically you might not get your money back. Contact law enforcement if you think you're going to if you think you're a, a victim of a, of a scam. Uh, the faster you get to uh, reporting it to law enforcement, uh, the more likely it is if you've lost money, the more likely it is we might be able to help you recover it. Flores tells me law enforcement is urging awareness and prevention before it's too late. Max Massey, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.